In today's video, I'm going to go over the Modern Warfare 3 campaign ending and try to kind of dissect as to what the hell just happened. Now, if you're like me, you might be actually slightly pissed off. I'll say that much. It was probably one of the worst endings we've had to a Call of Duty campaign, at least one that I can really think of. It was so anticlimactic. It didn't feel like it really delivered on what it was building up to. Thinking about like the whole Makarov thing where it's like, oh my God, he's going to be the big villain. What's going to happen at the end? Then spoiler alert, by the way, huge spoilers in this video. I feel like if you press on this video, you already know, but then soap dies and you're like, oh my God, what? God, you're freaking out. And then they're like, release the ashes, which would have been way funnier if they flew towards their faces and then the game ends. What? Like, that feels so obviously rushed. It feels unfinished. It feels like what Modern Warfare 3 set out to be for some odd reason. It really does feel like a DLC that is pre-DLC to set up whatever the hell either is going to be happening in the post-launch content or in Modern Warfare 4. Because that's, I guess, what we're going to try to dissect and explain. What happened at the end? We got to London. We tried to get rid of a bomb that was in like a tunnel where trains go. Pretty cool setting. I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. Then we defuse the bomb. But before we defuse the bomb, Makarov shows up, gets into a fight with Price and Soap, and then Soap gets shot in the head, which was like a gasp moment for me, which I was really worried that they weren't going to kill off anyone. I was also very worried as to who they would kill off. I didn't want Price to die. I didn't want Soap to die. I didn't want Ghost to die. And I didn't want Gaz to die. Even Laswell, I didn't want to die. Shepard, I feel like Shepard could have gotten it this game, you know, he kind of deserved it. I'm surprised he didn't kill off Ghost, you know, it just kind of felt like they did it in the previous games, why not now? Well, then again, they did kill off Soap, which did happen in the old games. But where could this all lead? Well, it's obviously going to be leading into a whole, like, Makarov, now you're really gonna get it. It's kind of ironic if you really think about it in the Modern Warfare 3 storyline, where there was a point where Soap did have a gun pointed straight at Makarov's face after the whole Verdansk scene, which again, to talk about that a little bit, that was insane. That's basically no Russian, but from the perspective of now the good guys and also not really no Russian, different setting. Pretty cool to see Verdansk in next generation consoles. Even if you played this on like a PS4 or Xbox One, it still probably looked really good because we are on the brand new engine, but that was pretty neat and cool to see. Like there was so much in this game that was really like, pretty cool and was setting up something that I was like, okay, how is this going to end? Are we actually going to kill Makarov? What's the fourth game going to be? Because we know that there's going to be a fourth game. But Makarov did say he was going to come after Soap and he did end up coming after him and he ended up killing him. Now we do know that Makarov is injured. Laswell was kind of, you know, classifying a lot of words on her computer. And in the end, it is said that Makarov is injured. So we do know that much. He is injured. And where is this all going to probably lead to? I don't know if it's it's going to lead to Modern Warfare 4 specifically, I think that's probably too far away. Or if they maybe want to lead it up that far away, well then that's completely fair enough. But we are going to be having like a complete year of multiplayer stuff. But to quickly explain what multiplayer seems to be like, and even zombies and Warzone, I think they're going to be treating Modern Warfare 3, at least the post lodge content, as more of like honoring Call of Duty. It's been 20 years, this is the 20th year Call of Duty coming out. Out. And we do know that season three as of right now leaked wise is going to be advanced warfare themed and that doesn't really line up with potentially setting up a you know like Makarov getting killed and fighting kind of situation which is kind of funny because that means that we probably either are going to be getting a story progression every like maybe a few seasons or we're just gonna really have to wait till god knows when because we're supposed to be getting obviously Treyarch next year in 2024 really excited for that and then rumors of 2025 not even being like let's say Sledgehammer it is going to be Treyarch again for COD 2025 similar to as we do have it with Modern Warfare 3 but then again since Sledgehammer did take over some portions Infinity War took over campaign for Modern Warfare 3 and Treyarch did take over zombies it might be a similar situation so it could be like a mixture of Sledgehammer with everybody else for COD 2025 and then maybe in 2026, three years from now, we will be getting the continuation of the story and I know that's a very complex 
completely normal thing that we do get every year or at least every three years in the past they kind of really messed up that whole system recently but it still feels like you're gonna build up this story in modern warfare 3 all of the things that like you're kind of you know you're edging me you're getting me all excited a tiny bit the campaign wasn't anything insane i really did enjoy the new campaign missions that they implemented but overall i was kind of like okay okay where are you leading to then they killed off soap i was like oh my god then they released his ashes i was like oh my god these boys are gonna get ready and they're gonna hunt down makarov nope he just got away he just he just got away that is so exciting. I am so excited. I am. I am excited to see where this story goes overall. One thing I am disappointed with the story is it didn't have any like slight little nods to zombies. I was really hoping like I had my fingers crossed. I was like, come on, there has to be something. The ending of the campaign has to have like some subtle nod to zombies and maybe it did, but I just couldn't really notice anything. I was really trying my best and I did rush through the campaign. I'm definitely going to replay it on veteran just because I hate my life, but I will probably try to do that and during that time since you know you have to take your time i'm going to try to delve more into little details and stuff like that so i'm going to try to get onto that as fast as possible but yeah no zombies references nothing like that but the game is coming out in a week if you live in new zealand you will obviously have it super early which i don't live in new zealand but let's say i do during that day and also it's going to be coming out you know overall on the 10th of november which is super exciting and i kind of cannot wait for it just because i'm really excited to play zombies it's something that i'm super hyped for especially after the campaign those missions and everything together like the whole exploring Urzikstan, at least some portions of it then playing on Verdansk then overall just having the idea of searching like boxes and stuff you know it kind of rekindled this oh I actually do really like the system of exploring looting and continuing and that's essentially what zombies is gonna be and I really hope they re-implement these kind of missions and maybe Treyarch's Call of Duty the next one which I really doubt because this was probably like Infinity Wars thing now and I feel like like if anything infinity ward if you are at all listening to this which is extremely unlikely like probably 0.000001 percent but if they would like some feedback do more of these they work they're fun i like the whole open world aspect to it exploring a map you basically took open world in like story games which i love and just put it into a small little open world and added in like more story to it and added enemies around the place and added me looting weapons and just looking for little easter eggs and there was like little hidden ideas and i know i've really taking a whole different approach to this video from hey let's talk about the ending and let's explain the ending to hey let's talk about the game completely because i feel like you know even though there's not much to talk about the ending there's a lot to talk about the game it was pretty good to a certain point of view what would i rate it out of 10 <sighs> six you know it deserves a six i was gonna say five but it deserves a six Marvel for two campaign was like a hundred times better even though it wasn't the greatest i still enjoyed that way more it did have more of like this feel of i know where i'm in the story i'm in a point where it's like just before the ending we had that whole graves thing also quickly before we end the video how the hell is verdansk completely a-okay we didn't see the part that got nuked but at least the dam is okay you'd expect that whole place to be radioactive i don't know how nukes work you know since it was also invaded with zombies no mentions of that like i don't really understand this story it's it's a bit confusing you know wait when did it get nuked did it get nuked in 2020 or like get nuked to the past with zombies when did it infest wait did oh did it get infested Z no now i'm really confused anyway guys that's going to be for the video sorry for the whole roller coaster ending of the story <laughs> Explained, gonna get continued in Modern Warfare 4. That's that's your ending explained. If you're new here for some odd reason, be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much. We just hit 41k. That is absolutely epic. And um, yeah, I'll be covering a bunch of videos on Modern Warfare 3 zombies and just Modern Warfare 3. Anyway, peace out.